Hi, I'm Jamie Hodes, Certified Pilates Instructor. I teach at Crunch Sunset, and I've designed a 20-minute workout for your booty with classical Pilates moves. Um, the moves engage multi-dimensional muscles around the pelvis and the pelvic floor, so let's get started. All you need is a mat. If you want a towel, you can use the towel to rest your head on or to wipe your sweat off. Let's get get the moves going. So start on your left side, align your head to tail with the back edge of your mat. You can rest your head on the towel or you can extend your elbow 45 degree diagonal away from the shoulder and your bottom hand is right above your ear. Your top fist is right in front of the rib cage to lift your waist. Pull your shoulders down, bring your legs halfway to the front. We want to keep the shoulders back and down, the ribs engaged, and the tush tight for the entire series. The top leg pulses forward for two and back for two. We do that ten times. Inhale front and exhale back. The range depends on you. Just keep stable from the head to the tail. Inhale front, exhale back. We'll do one more and exhale back, then leg circle. Start externally, so take your top leg forward, up, back and down, equidistantly in front and behind your bottom heel. Inhale, front, exhale back. And four more. Three. Two more. Last one. And then reverse, inhale behind and equally in front of your bottom heel. Eight more. Six more. And five. Keep the shoulders down. Four. Keep lifting the waist. Three. Exhale. Two. Last one. Pointing up and flexing down. Inhale. Point the leg up and flex it down. Inhale and exhale. We do five. So you have two more. And then flex up. Inhale, flex up and point down. And four more. Exhale. Two more. Squeeze in the bottom. Last one. And stay pointed. This next move is called bicycle. Without moving your upper body, take your top leg forward. Bend it in front. Bring it back and extend it behind the bottom leg without leaning forward. Front. Bend. Exhale. Back and extend. We only do three, so one more. You're doing great. And now reverse. Take your top leg, bend it behind the bottom leg to activate the gluteus medius. Bring it forward and then use your abs to extend the leg. Everything is connected. Back, bend and exhale. Resist and extend. One more. Remember, head to tail does not move. Exhale, extend. Take your top leg on top of the bottom. Align both legs with the back edge of the mat. From head to tail, your straight line, without moving your hips, especially your top hip, don't let it sink back. Inhale, lift the legs, and lower and lengthen. And inhale, and exhale. We do 10 of them. Six more. Try to keep your heels equidistant. And four more, pelvic stability. Three, and two more. Keep lifting your waist. Last one. Then scissors. Without moving the hips, scissor the straight legs forward and back ten times. Five more. Three, two, one. Lower your bottom leg. Keep your top leg lifted. Make sure you have that turnout. And then the bottom leg comes up like an alligator. Only the bottom leg lifts. Ten, nine, eight. The breath is just long. two, and one. Lower your bottom leg. Take your top leg and bend it in a high half toe. Make sure your waist is lifted and keep your shoulders down. You can use your top hand to grasp that right ankle and engage your lats again into the abs. The bottom leg circles externally first, so lift it up and forward, down and back, ten times. Eight more. As you squeeze your bottom, you'll feel that inner thigh and that transverse abdominus, the lower belly. And reverse for 10, 
nine. Can you go a little bit higher? And six, good. And four, squeeze the bottom, feel the difference. And last one, leg on top of leg, align both legs halfway to the front of the mat, not all the way to the corner. Ron de Jean, it's a capital letter D or a beautiful rainbow. So the top leg goes straight forward and then exhale all the way over to the back without leaning forward. Inhale front, exhale to the back. And three more, and exhale. It's really gonna get that side indentation on the, on the side of the butt. And one more, and reverse. Inhale back, exhale to the front. Try to maintain the turnout. You can check by seeing if your heels are turned out at the bottom. Two more, last one, and exhale. Flex that top foot, turn it out. The floor is on fire, this is called hot potato. We don't wanna to touch the floor. Pulse three times in front, point, and then flex behind, point, and then two. And stay flexed, front to back. Five more times, and four, three, two, last, and point. The last move with the extended legs is called side passe. Inhale, lift your right leg, bend the knee. If you want to check your alignment, make sure that your knee is higher than an extended hand. So you have that external rotation to get the inner and the outer thigh and extend. Inhale, up, bend, and extend. The heels are in a V. Let's do three more. And two. Exhale, last one. Reverse, inhale, bend, and exhale, extend. And three. And two. Last one. Beautiful, let's bring our knees in front of our hips. If you open your knees, heels should be equidistant. You may rest your head down on a towel if you want, or you can stay up. I'm going to lie down on the towel. If you want extra resistance, you can press your hand on your outer thigh. Closer to the knee would be harder. Closer to the hip would be easier. And you want to lift your waist. So we call it a mouse house, so a little mouse can crawl under. Top knee lifts 10 times. 10. And nine, you want to squeeze the heels together, squeezing the tush, eight. And seven, keep lifting the waist. And four, so we use our center. And two, keep here, lift your heels and lift the top knee. So the same move, but a little variation. And eight, seven, four, you can just keep the breath long. Two, continue, drop your bottom heel, lift the top nine, and eight, squeeze the bottom, not the face, six, five, four. Now keep your knees equidistant, hip, hip distance apart, and squeeze your bottom so the knee doesn't move as you drop the top foot down, 10, nine, eight, and six. Can, can, straighten and bend. I can, can get through this. Eight more, we got this. Seven and six, si se puede. Good, four more and three. Keep breathing deeply. And the last one, extend your legs. Let's circle externally first, so away from your body 10 times. And eight, can you get higher? And six, keep that leg straight, that tush tight. And four. Three, and reverse for 10. You breathe deeply, I'll count for you. Eight, and seven. Three, two, and one. Good job, let's come up onto that bottom left elbow. Take your right hand on your top hip or behind the head if you want a little more challenge. Heels are equidistant, let's open the knees as you lift your hips for 10 and lower and nine shoulders down eight feel your center wrapping around six three we're almost done two continue lift the left right leg ten lower nine 
and eight. And five. Four more. Use those ribs. And two. And one. Keep your hips lifted. Circle your right knee externally. Ten. Nine. Eight. And six. And four. We're almost done. Reverse for ten. We got one more move after this. Eight. And six. And four. Shoulders down. To the can can. Straight in bend. I can get through this. Eight. Keep your hips lifted. Seven. Four. Three. And just for that extra bit, stay straight. Circle out. Ten. Nine. Eight. Resist with your abs. And six. Can you go higher? Four. Two. Reverse. Last ten and we're done. And eight. Here's some second wind fairy dust. Come on. And four, breathe it in. Two, and let it go. Have a seat. Good job. Let's prop ourselves up. Keep your left hand under your left shoulder. Take your right hand under your bottom left ankle. This can be plenty of a stretch, or you can go into a variation of mermaid. So releasing that left hand up and over, and then rotate internally. Good. We're not done with this leg. So place your hands down, bring your knees under your hips, 90 degrees, come down onto your forearms, extend your right leg up, 45 degrees, shoulders down, ribs, and tush, lift the leg, 10, 9, just breathe deeply, 6, and 4, 3, 2, and hold, take your leg away from your body, and then in towards the midline, out to in. So eight more, seven, try to keep your pelvis stable by squeezing the tush. Three, two, reverse for 10, and eight, and six. We're working the, the booty multidimensionally. Three, two, and hold. This next one, I'll do one slowly for you. Lift your leg. Cross it down to the left, straight up, straight down. So it's up, cross, up, down, nine more. And eight. Try to go high and keep your waist long. And three. And two. Last one. Come up to your hands and knees. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders, and tabletop. Shoulders back and down. Squeeze the tush. Take your right knee to your right. Ten and nine. Press into your left hand, into your right hand, so you don't lean to the left. And three, two, and stay straight. Circle back for ten, nine. Keep both arms straight. Stomach tight. And reverse for ten, nine. And four, three, almost done. Let's lift the leg up and lift 10 times. Lift, lift. Keep your waist long so no, don't sink in your low back. Four, three, double time. And 16, 15, 14. This is it. 12, 11, 10, 8, 6, 4. Just kidding. We have one more move. Knee under hip. We have last move. Extend your leg out and down. Nine and eight. Both arms straight. And six. Shoulders down. Don't lean left. Three, two, and for the grand finale, extend the leg. Circle it back for ten. Nine. Use those ribs. And reverse for ten. Come on. And eight. Don't give up now, we're so close. And four, three, two, and as Jane Fonda used to say, and you did it. <laughs> Hips back, take your arms to your left, bending the elbows and shoulders, you'll feel a nice stretch on your left waist. Come on up, and we'll go to the other side. So the good news is one side is done. Head to tail line with the back edge of the mat, Legs are halfway to the front, feet are turned out. 
Lift your waist, shoulders down, ribs and tush engage. Top leg pulses forward for two and back for two. Inhale and exhale. You have eight. Shh. And seven. Shh. And six. Three, two more, leg circles, start externally, so forward, back and down, nine and eight, try to keep that turn out, six and four and two and reverse for ten and eight and six and four and two, and pause, point up, flex down, and point, flex, and three, shh, two, and one, stay flexed, flex up, point, and four, exhale, three, shh, stay pointed, top leg forward, bend it, bring it back, and extend it behind the bottom leg, so only three, and exhale, back, last one. Inhale, and exhale. Top leg bends behind the bottom leg. Bring it forward, then use your rectus abdominis to extend the leg. So back, bend, abs, extend. One more, inhale, and exhale. Top leg on top of the bottom leg, legs to the back edge, feet are turned out. Make sure this time that your left hip doesn't sink back. So skewer the hip over the hip and lift the legs, 10 and nine. Keep your waist lifted. And four, three, stay lifted. Straight legs, tight toes, scissor legs, forward and back. And eight, seven, four, three, two, lower the bottom leg, top leg stays up, turn it out. It's like an alligator, it won't move, the bottom leg comes up. 10, nine, like an alligator's mouth and six, and four, on the inner thigh and outer thigh, and lower the bottom leg, top leg bends in a high half toe, the bottom leg circles externally first, up, forward, down and back, ten, nine, and six, two, and reverse, for ten, as you squeeze your bottom, you'll feel that inner thigh and that lower belly, the transverse, two, and one. Leg on top of leg, legs halfway to the front, feet turned out, rond de jambe, or capital D, top leg goes forward, exhale to the back. Do not lean forward though, head to tail aligned. Inhale, and exhale to the back, and three, and two, and last, and reverse. Inhale back, Exhale to the front and four and exhale three two breathe deeply last one hot potato flex that left foot turn it out don't touch the floor four uh, three times in front three two one point flex three two behind point flex in front for two and back for two stay flexed front to back six times four three and last point is our last move. I like to use a prop of the left. I'm gonna come down for this. The left forearm is parallel to the floor. So inhale, lift the right leg, the left leg, bend it to make sure your left knee is exter externally rotated. That's not caving in. And then extend. So it's up, bend, and extend. So three out of five. And inhale, exhale, last one. Reverse, bend and extend, and three, shoulders stay down, and two, last one. Bend your knees in front of your hips, if you want to rest down on your towel, I'm going to. Lift your waist, if you can press on that upper, upper outer thigh, if you want more resistance, top knee lifts, ten and nine, heels are equidistant. Four. Three, two, continue, lift the feet for 10, nine, 
six, lift that waist, and four, three, two, drop the bottom foot, lift the top, ten, nine, keep squeezing the bottom, relax your pretty faces, and four, three, two, now keep your top knee stable as you squeeze your tush, drop the top foot, ten, nine, eight, breath is long, six, four, two, the can-can, straight in bend, I can-can finish, you're so close, do not give up. And four, a four, three, two, stay straight. So go out for 10, nine, eight, and six, and four, and two. Last move here, 10, and eight. Lift that waist, and four, and two, and prop yourself up on your right elbow. Keep it underneath your right shoulder. You can put your top hand on your hip or behind the head. Heels equidistant, lift the hips and the top left knee. Lift, lower, nine, eight, six, five, four more, three. Continue to lift the foot, the left foot, nine, eight, six, five, four more, three. Stay lifted, circle your knee back, two, three of ten, five, five more, four, three, two, reverse, ten, nine, come on, you got this, and six, and four, I'm rooting for you, finish strong, and hold, leg, extend and bend, nine, eight, seven, shh, and four, we circle, three, and two, stay straight, circle away for 10, nine, eight. Come on, second win. And four, and two, and reverse. 10, and eight, a little higher, six, strong. Three, two, baby, got back. Come on up. Prop yourself up with that right hand under your right shoulder. Take your left hand under your bottom, Right ankle, this is plenty, or you can go into the mermaid. Reach up and over, and then rotate it totally, shoulders down. One more series on our forearms. Now to finish this leg. So come down to your forearms, your elbow is directly under the shoulder. Extend your left leg up, shoulders down, ribs tight, squeeze, tush, lift, straight leg up. 10, nine, six, Five. Just keep an apple under the chin, not a cantaloupe. Four, three, two, stay up. Circle externally, away from you. Ten, nine, keeping the hips stable. Six, by squeezing the tush. Four, two, and then reverse for ten. Keep going, we got this. Shh. And four, and two. Here's a slow example of the next move. Lift that left leg, cross it behind the right. Straight up, straight down. Tempo, lift, cross, lift, down, nine. And eight, focus on the lift. Seven, six, up, five, hook, and four, up, three, two. Last move, come on up to your hands and knees and tabletop, 90 and 90 degrees. So hand and under shoulder, knee under hip. Arms are straight, take your left knee to your left. Lift, lift. Keep both arms straight, especially that right one. And three, two, stay straight. Circle away from you for 10, nine. Press into that left hand so you don't lean to the right. And four, shh, and reverse. 10, nine, shoulders away from the ears. You got this. And three, Two, lift the leg up, nine, eight, and six. Make sure you're not sinking in your low back. Keep your waist lifted, ribs engaged. Three, two, double time, and 16, 15. Baby got back, you gotta use it or lose it, come on. Eight, seven, a little higher, and four, three, two, and knee down, let's kick it to the left. Straight and down, nine, eight, we're almost there, we got one move after this. Six, five, four, 
Stay straight, circle away from you for 10 and we're done, then we reverse and we're done. Eight, or two, or three, two, reverse. 10, nine, both arms straight. Six, ribs engage. Four, and two, hallelujah. Let's sit back, take your arms to your right, bend your elbows and shoulders and get a nice stretch on that left waist. Good job. Let's come on up. Let's just do one cobra. So extend the legs, just releasing that hip flexion. Pull your shoulders back and down. And then bring yourself to Namaste. We did it. So that's classical Pilates, some of the sidekick series and booty work. I'm Jamie Hodis from Crunch on Sunset. I look forward to seeing you again. Keep moving and keep breathing. Have a beautiful rest of your day, night, wherever you are. Thank you.